Hey guys, I'm Brayden. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we are talking about the Draco CBD. So this is a prototype that I just received. Uh, it will be available in the near future after testing is complete. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the features of the CBD, the components, uh, some of the reasoning behind the design. Yeah, and then I will build it and show you it going together. Okay. So let's start. Now this is the axle. Uh, here is a 4x4 four four millimeter set screw. Uh, I will increase this to a larger size, a 5x5 five five set screw. Uh, here is the shaft. Uh, it is a 7 millimeter thick. It has the 11 millimeter ball at the end here. So it only is compatible with the HD outdrives. For example, they come with the uh, XL, the Savage XL. So we have our hexes. There are two available, uh, 17 millimeter and 24 millimeter. When you order a pair of these in the future, one of uh, the 17 will be included. Uh, if you would like the 24, you can swap it out for the same price, or you could order the uh, 24 separately or additionally. Okay. All right, and we have the joint coupler here. Uh, this connects the shaft and the axle together. These are all hardened parts, hardened steel parts. Um, the manufacturer tells me uh, HRC 57 is usually the average they get. And the hexes are 6061 aluminium. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features. Now, the axle, it has uh, eight holes around here. Now, my thinking behind this was once one set of holes begins to wear out, you can just simply move the pin to another set of holes. So you have four positions. This will make the CVD last much longer before you have to replace this. Uh, another feature is some of these have a hollowed out center to make it lighter. Uh, I have chosen not to do that because I wanted durability. So this is just a solid piece, uh, the inside is solid. Uh, only the thread has been made here, but the rest is a solid piece. Um, what else? The outside here, uh, the wall thickness is quite thick. It's about 2.6, 2.7 millimeters. The outer diameter is 17, about the same as the stock uh, extended uh, uh, was it, axles. Right, that's the that's the axle. Um, the let's see, the joint cup. This is also a hardened part. Um, this connects both. Um, very standard. Just got a M uh, M4 thread going through it. Okay. Um, now the shaft. Some of the features. Um, of course, the thicker the thicker diameter here, seven millimeters and also retaining the same steering angle as stock so uh, up to 30 degrees uh, so it won't be a problem and also a bigger ball here so this is a 20 a, a 12 millimeter diameter now the hexes so uh, as you can see this is a little different um, i've incorporated the spacer into the hex so no more separate components uh, you slide this on, put the pin through, and then tighten the set screw. You've captured the pin, so it will stay on. Um, same with the 24 millimeter. And uh, what else? They are aluminium. And as you can see, they fit quite snugly into the stock wheel. And the 17 millimeter. Yeah. So, now let's assemble it. So, first of all, I'll take the 4x4, which will be a 5x5, put this into the thread, okay, and then get the joint coupling, put the 4x3mm set screw into that, screw it down close to flush, and then slide it into the end here. Now, some of the holes on this particular one are a little too small, so the, the pin is quite tight. 
but uh, I'm going to increase the tolerance a little bit so so the pen is quite smooth. So I've got to find a particular hole. Right. Three by seventeen millimeter pen. So it's the exact same length as the diameter of this axle. Right now, because of the number of holes around here, um, uh, I can access the set screw and tighten tighten it against the pen. Now the pen is captured, as you can see through the hole here. As you can hear, the tolerances are not good enough, so this will be fixed by production. I want to I want to have only about a 0.1 millimeter gap between uh, around the axle inside. Okay, so that's it assembled. Now let's put it into a Savage steering knuckle. Okay, put it in there. Then slide on the hex, put the pin through, and then tighten the set screw. There we go. Okay, so um, even if you wish to purchase these hexes, you can. Um, these will still work with the stock axles, but they just won't be captured. Um, but once you put the wheel on, the pin will be held in place anyway. Same with the 24mm hexes. Um, and if you purchase the CVDs, of course you can use the new HPI uh, hexes. Okay, so if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Uh, find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram, send a message, uh, send an email if you like. Um, I'll answer your any, any of your questions, uh, or if you want, just go to my uh, go to my website and check out more information about these parts. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. See you in the next one.